I love to travel. It's something that everyone should do if they get the chance. And the best way to do it is to simply walk through a country. Try the local cuisine, meet interesting people and hear their life stories. Really immerse yourself in the culture. And there may be no better place to do that than the famed Takedo, which was designed by Antoine Boza and published by FunForge, who helped sponsor this video. Hey everyone, I'm Mike Murphy, the Brothers Murph, and I am here with BoardGameGeek.com. Well, we've got a road to walk down and we have some expansions to explore, so let's get this game down to the table to go a little more in focus on Takedo and its expansions. Takedo is a set collection game where players are travelers walking along the famed Takedo Road. Each player will get a special traveler who will give them a special ability. Throughout the Takedo Road, there are shops, hot springs, encounters, panorama spots, farms, temples, and of course, inns. The traveler whose turn it is, is the one farthest back on the path. On their turn, a player will move their traveler at least one space, though they may move farther if they'd like. They will then gain the benefit of whichever space they decide to land on. Then whoever is now last on the path will get to go, which could be the same player again. When a player lands on a shop, they will draw three souvenir cards and they may buy any of them, collecting sets in front of them. When they land on a hot spring, they will draw a hot spring card, which is worth either two or three points. At encounter spots, travelers will meet interesting people who will give the players an immediate benefit, like Shokunin, who allows the players to gain the top card of the souvenir deck. At the various panorama spots, players may work on the three different panoramas, sea, mountain, or paddy. Farms simply give the player three coins. At temples, players may donate money to the temple, which scores them points. And at the end of the game, the player who donated the most will gain extra points. And finally, there are the inns. These are special and all players must stop at the inns. Once travelers arrive at the inn, they will eat a delicious meal. These are each worth six points, but you may only eat each meal once. And the first player to get to the inn gets first choice. So if you're the last, you may be going hungry. Play will continue until all players have reached the last inn at Edo. The players will score points based on how much money they donated to the temple, and various achievements will be awarded, like the bather, which is awarded to whoever has the most hot springs cards. And at the end of all that, the player with the most points will win. So that's a quick overview of the base game, but let's go quickly over the Crossroads expansion and the Matsuri expansion. The Crossroads expansion adds more travelers in a second action the travelers may choose at each location. Now at shops, players may buy legendary objects, which will award the player more points. At Hot Springs, players can buy bathhouse cards, which are worth four points. Encounter spots now give calligraphy cards for endgame scoring. Panorama spots now give the cherry tree, which will give players points and coins. At farms, players can press their luck and roll the fortune die for some extra money. At temples, players may gain amulet cards, which gives special one-time abilities, and players may use them when they wish. And finally, at inns, wait, no, inns are the same. The Matsuri expansion is very simple. Once all players arrive at the inn, the first player who arrived will draw two Matsuri cards and choose one to play. These may have an immediate effect, such as each player getting to draw an amulet, or all players getting to roll the fortune die to get some coins or they may have an effect that lasts until everyone arrives at the next inn, such as the temple spaces being closed down or being able to draw encounter cards while at Hot Springs locations. The Matsuri expansion also adds a ton of new travelers, and that is a quick look at the two expansions. Takedo is one of those games that is just relaxing. The entire theme is that you're just taking a lovely walk. And though the rules are relatively simple, trying to decide which spaces to stop on and which ones to skip can be quite difficult. Plus, you don't want to be the last person to get to the end, but you always want to take your time on the road. And if Takedo and his expansion seem like something you would enjoy, be sure to check out his page at BoardGameGeek.com. And if you want a full rules video of this game, follow the link in the description of this video. And until next time, I'm Mike Murphy. I've been here with BoardGameGeek, and we've been going in focus on Takedo and its expansions. Have a great day.